And what about Shirley Vickery? She rode Blue Gale to uh, victory in the ladies' race. Can she pull off the double on Teton Mill? Even money jig time. 7-2 to Grimley Gale, who's written by Mark Jackson. 9-2 to Teton Mill. 14-1 to bar these three. It's the 40th year of the Horse and Hound Cup. Let's join Simon Holt. And expect Double Silk to be up there. He loves to bowl along. And they jump away with Teton Mill the Grey just going on with Grimley Gale as they head towards the first of a reduced 18 fences now with this last fence before the winning line being bypassed. Over the first then, and they're all safely over. Real progress, a little sticky at it. But it's Grimley Gale in front from Teton Mill in second and then Double Silk close up, followed by her way man and jig time towards the outside. They're followed by Nodform Wonder as they they take an open ditch, then real progress. Loch Nagrain and Tom's Gemini star, they're the last two. Over a slight rise and on towards fence number three. And Double Silk slowly working his way to the front now from Grimley Gale as they approach this third fence. Double Silk lands just in front from Grimley Gale. And then Teton Mill from Hawaii Man. Jig Time is in a good position in fifth place. Then Nod Form Wonder. And then towards the back, Real Progress, Loch Nagrain and Tom's Gemini Star, the recent Worcester winner. The pace doesn't look too strong, but they've got a long way to go. Over two circuits in front of them. And it's the old timer, Double Silk. Uh, Jewel Cheltenham Fox Hunters winner, 93 and 94. The Aintree winner in 93. He's bidding to win his 19th Hunter chase. He lands just in front from Grimley Gale. Teton Mill towards the inside. Now they're going to bypass this fence. They shift left-handed. Could be interesting if it's uh, going to be close on the run for home. The uh, riders will have to have their wits about them. It'll be a long run in. The run in will be now a good furlong and a half as they pass the stands with two complete circuits in front of them. In the yellow jacket, double silk from Hawaii Man. And then jig time, black and white towards the outside left of picture. On the right is Grimley Gale. These are followed by Nord, Form, Wonder and Teton Mill and Real Progress and Loch Nagrain as they take the next plane. One Tom's Gemini Star whips them in as they prepare to take a left-hand turn away into the country once again. Double Silk then, by length to Hawaii Man. Double Silk and Joe Tizard, who won this year's Fox Hunters on Earth Mover. Now we would like to add that on this veteran Double Silk. And about a 16 to 1 chance. Jig time jumped up well there on the outside. Mistake by Tom's Gemini Star in last place. Another open ditch follows. Double Silk, Away Man, Jig Time, Teton Mill the Grey, then Grimley Gale and Real Progress and Nod Form Wonder and Loch Nagrain, and finally Tom's Gemini Star. About to swing left handed again on this sharp, flat course, and it's uh, still Double Silk, but Teton Mill has nipped up the inside. Away Man is close jig time going round the houses round the horses towards the outside as they approach this line of three fences down the back straight and away man is taking on double silk now and then jig time the outside as they land over this there's not much to choose between the leading four are completed by teton mill on the inner, inner. two lengths then to grimley gale followed by real progress not form wonder lock nagrain is being pushed along and four lengths last a little detached is tom's gemini star and lock nagrain stumbled on landing over that open dish and lost quite a lot of momentum under Seamus Durack. Over the rise again then, and on towards the next. It's fence number 10 of the 18, and in another circuit's time, they'll really be racing at this point, and it's Teton Mill who lands just in front for Shirley Vickery. Double Silk is upsides in second, then Hawaii Man. Grimley Gale is next, and then the favourite Jig Time in fifth, and this group of five are getting away from the others who are headed by Real Progress, and then Loch Nagrain, Nod Form Wonder, and Tom's Gemini Star can't go the pace at the moment. They swing left-handed then, and on towards this next plane fence, which will be the last after another circuit. And it's double silk with Teton Mill the inside, a very good jump. Away man the outer. Jig time just lobbing in behind them. That black and white jacket worn by Mark Radburn. Grimley Gale up the inside. Those are the leading five. Loch Nagrain is trying to get on terms with them, but uh, few. It's hard work for Seamus Durek, who's uh, been off. This horse has been off the bit for most of the way. And then Nod Form Wonder, Real Progress, and Tom's Gemini Star. 
They've got another fence to jump then away from the stands before they go out into the country for the final time in the 40th running of the Horse and Hound Cup. And the leader is Teton Mill, who jumps slightly right-handed. Reminder there, slap down the neck for double silk. Grimly Gale getting much closer. Jig time is still cruising. And then Hawaii Man back in fifth place and being pushed along. A gap to Loch Nagrain. And looks like real progress is being pulled up as they run towards another plain fence. Teton Mill, a good, fast, low jump in front. Three lengths to Grimley Gale, then Jig Time in third, followed by Hawaii Man. The old fella Double Silk just finding the pace a little bit hot at the moment on this uh, pretty fast ground here today. Over the next open ditch, and Teton Mill bidding to give Shirley Vickery a tremendous double here. And trainer Venetia Williams won this race 12 months ago with Celtic Abbey. As they swing left-handed down the back then, they've got four fences left to jump. And it's Teton Mill from Grimley Gale, Jig Time back in third, and uh, I don't know, I think he might be niggling away a little bit on Jig Time. There's a gap to Hawaii Man and Double Silk. Another plain fence then, and Teton Mill has got them on the stretch. Grimley Gale lands in second in hot pursuit. Now he gets to serious work on Jig Time, and the cupboard is bare, running towards the next open ditch then. It's three out, and Teton Mill appears to have matters under control. Grimley Gale is the only possible danger at the moment. Jig time struggling to muster speed back in third and then a gap back to Hawaii Man and Double Silk who's keeping on gamely heading towards the last in the back straight then Teton Mill by four lengths to Grimley Gale who's inching a bit closer approaching this fence they land safely Grimley Gale within three lengths on landing they're a good uh, all 15 20 clear of Jig time Double Silk's back into fourth Hawaii Man down on its nose at that second last but meanwhile up front on the turn for home and it's the grey Teton Mill here and the nine-year-old has a four-length lead over Grimley Gale chasing hard in second under Mark Jackson but approaching the final fence Teton Mill appears to have it won bar the jumping Teton Mill didn't get too high but he lands safely in front Teton Mill from Grimley Gale who can't make any further impression back in second place he misses the last Teton Mill but he could have probably jumped it he could have probably have gone round again he's well clear of Grimley Gale in second second place and a tremendous double here for Shirley Vickery. She won the ladies with Blue Gale. She's won the big prize, the Horse and Hound Cup with Teton Mill in a canter. Grimley Gale win in second place and then way back in third, Jig Time getting very tired. Double Silk trying to close on him but Jig Time gets third. A little bit disappointing. In fourth was Double Silk. That's uh, it for him. I think he'll be retired after this. A good run nevertheless and then a long gap back to, well, Loch Grain. I can't see any other finishers. One or two dismounted. Away man has been dismounted. But Teton Mill has finished as fresh as a daisy to win this Horse and Hound Cup. Teton Mill five to one. Second Grimley Gale three to one, and third Jig Time the eleven to ten favourite.